Seventy nine RBI on the season and a big chance here with runners at first and third. Rip back up the middle and that is RBI number 80 for Adley Rutschman. He jumped on a high fastball and the Beavers break through first. Gets his 10th RBI of this College World Series fastball. Gets his hands extended and you see that ball knuckling right back up the middle. No defense there. Rutschman just so clutch thinking up the middle the entire time with those runners in scoring position. And he has added four tonight. He'd love to make it five. Brettler on a line into center. It drops in front of Mangum and Larnick comes around to score. Clutch two out hit from Michael Gretler and it's two nothing Oregon State. This ball is right center and it's tagged. McNamee going back. He's not going to get it. And it's gone. A three run home run for Tyler Malone. RBI's 30, 31, and 32, his eighth homer of the year. It's 5 nothing Beavers. Skelton set up on the outside corner. This pitch stays right down the middle. And Tyler Malone left on left after flying out to right field. This one right in his wheelhouse. Seven homers on the season. We've already seen one ball leave the yard here tonight. Golf set one into right field. Good piece of hitting on a ball that was down. Alexander circles third. He'll score the first run for the Bulldogs. And with two outs, a clutch hit for Rowdy Jordan. Count evened up at one. All of a sudden, change up. He already saw it in the first pitch. So he knows the rotation. Goes out and gets it for a base hit. And this is a big, big run right there for Mississippi State. Get on the ball, yes. get a hit. Just to get some momentum back. The other thing there, too, that's on the inner half of the play. Left field, that's a hit. Sent home, and it's now 5 2, and the tying run's going to come to the plate. Mulholland got the first five men that he faced. Big pothole now, but Poole is behind 0 and 2. Trip to the World Series Finals on the line. Hey. He him, and that loads the bases. Change up, change up right here to Westburg. And again, he pounds his chest. Two strikes. This is where they're at their best. He acknowledged that the greatest banana ever, the one that led to the seven RBI, is back in the hotel room. O2 from Mulholland. Nope. I'm trying. First two games of this College World Series with two strikes, 11 for 34, with seven RBI for the Mississippi State Ball Club. Here comes a changeup. Here comes a changeup down and away. Mole Holland's going to try to bury it down in the dirt, see if he can get a Westburg swing. If it's elevated, it gives Westburg a chance. No player has hit two grand slams in the same College World Series. Spoils it. Ball stayed up. Fortunately for him, it stayed away. Pat Casey's not staying up. He went top step and now has retreated again. A walk, a walk, a single, and a hit batter. Mississippi State brings the winning run to the plate in the bottom of the ninth. And this is a team that has made a living with walk off wins, seven of them. In their last at bat. What? To short, this should do it. Tough time getting out of the glove, but Oregon State wins it.
And now they can go finish the business that they started when the season did. They are going back to the College World Series final as they hang on and win 5-2. Could not have asked for more drama. Bases loaded for a team that makes a living with the bases loaded, and Grenier had a hard time getting it out of his glove. Yep. But he flipped it to Madrigal for the force out. And we'll have Arkansas and Oregon State for the title starting Monday night at 7 Eastern time. One beginning with two outs. It all started in the top of the third inning for Oregon State. After that, they didn't get any more offense. In that bottom of the ninth, you know the Mississippi State is known for these comebacks. They load the bases. What are you thinking as that was happening? You know, I just try to stay positive. Uh, you know, Molly's been great for us all year, closing games out. Um, you know, I really try to stay, you know, just focused on pitch by pitch and not really think of, you know, the worst situation that could have happened. But, you know, Molly's been great all year long and he did his job at the end. Okay, so relief now. You just took a deep breath as you walked over here. And now time for that unfinished business that you guys had talked about. What does it mean that now you have a chance to compete in these finals? Yeah, I mean, this is what we worked all offseason long for. Um, you know, this has been our goal. Uh, we're going to take it one, one game at a time. We're not finished yet, uh, but we're definitely in a good position right now. You'll have to take on Arkansas. What's your impressions of them from what you've seen so far? Yeah, I mean, they're a great team. They hit the ball. They pitch really well. Um, you know, we're going to get into more scouting reports probably tomorrow. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a great series.